The second hypothesis was using the agent Capivacertib, which is an oral AKT inhibitor, and about 5% of patients or so had an activating mutation in AKT. Again, it is oftentimes a, an acquired mutation in the setting of endocrine therapy resistance. And again, uh, most of the patients had clinical benefit. They either had an objective response or substantial reduction in tumor volume. And we had seen that before with Capivacertib, and there's another agent, Ipatacertib, also being developed in that, in that space. And so that now that is in randomized trials in women with um, ER positive metastatic breast cancer. Actually, it turns out the Capivacertib with fulvestrant versus fulvestrant alone improved progression-free survival in a randomized phase two trial regardless of AKT or PI3 kinase mutation status. But it's, a, it's just good to know if you have a patient with an activating AKT1 mutation in the E17K that um, these, uh, these agents which are in trials, not commercially available, may be available on compassionate use for your patient, for example.